So how could you have better prepared for the stock market reversal that happened today? What's going on team? It's Ricky here with TechBud Solutions. One of my earlier videos today, we talked about the NASDAQ mar market uh, when it was in the green. I uploaded the video. A lot of people were like, I don't understand why you're saying that the market's going to pull on back. Um, it's kind of hard to see on the one minute time frame. I mean, uh, besides the fact that it pushed up 9% on Friday, I'm sorry, 9% for TQQQ and then another 7 to 8% today alone, right? We were gapping up. We were testing that $19 resistance level. If you look at this on the day chart, it's a beautiful push up for TQQQ on the four hour time frame. You can see it a little bit more clear that we've retested that $19 price point before. But one of the main things is, I mean, I like to take things day by day when it comes down to these intraday plays, right? One of the things that I began to see is we were not seeing any more progression at $19. This is something that my, me and my Learn, Plan, Profit group talk about all the time. I don't know if you've ever asked yourself the question of like, well, when is the best time to potentially exit a trade? And this is never going to be perfect, right? The 2023 should not be the year to be a perfect trader. It should be the year to implement progress, right? And as we talk about progress, if there's no progress at the rate that this stock or ETF is growing, then why do you still have an open position as a day trade, right? So if we're here to make money and the stock that we have an open position in as a day trade is no longer indicating signs of an uptrend, it's beginning to trade sideways. And it was very easy to see that, right? Once we hit $19 or 18 96 to be exact, we began to trade sideways for about two hours. That's exactly what I said in my earlier video today. And a lot of people were confused. They're like, no, Ricky, I think you're wrong. And rightfully so. I mean, I I can never predict the future. No one can, right? But what are signs of a resistance? And that's all I really want to talk about. Uh, it was very obvious that it was showing signs of a resistance at $19, not just because it's been a previous resistance level, but you would only know that if you've traded it before, right? But on top of that, we were kind of trading below $19 for about two hours before it actually broke below the moving average, right? Breaking below the EMA, that's one thing on the one minute time frame. Breaking below the moving average, now that's a little bit more of a valid break of support, break of pattern. And of course, because it gapped up eight, uh, seven to eight percent today, it had a long way down to go. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, I kept you guys up to date with this entire move. I like to keep my trading simple. And I don't know about you guys, but I often found myself over trading especially when I trade on the one minute time frame. One thing that has really helped me out, and it's not perfect, right? But it helps me out, right? Implementing progress, not here to be perfect, is looking at the five minute time frame. It was very obvious for me that finally, when we actually broke below the EMA on the five minute time frame for TQQQ, that was obvious on when it actually broke its original pattern, right? Not here, because it went back to retest that same resistance right around $19, but it came back, broke below the EMA, and then actually began to make lower highs, lower lows. It went back to retest, and now the old support level, which was the EMA, is now a new resistance level. This is a confirmation of lower highs. It gets rejected, uh, retest that same support level, breaks below that support, and then heads down to that $18 price point. We went from highs of $19 to lows of $18. I mean, if you look at this, this is why we talk about it's never, the goal should never be to be perfect because you will never be perfect. The goal should be to be effective with your entries and your exits. And anytime that there is a break of pattern, right? Looking at the five minute time frame, depending on what indicator to use, to use as a reference, not one indicator is 100% accurate, but you can utilize these indicators to use as a reference on, hey, is this pattern or is this stock that I have an open position in right now still? valid and again it was very easy to see that when we broke below that ema not just breaking below the ema because of the it being an indicator but even before that right we talked about the lack of progression it was trading sideways for about two hours at that point why have an open position if there is no actual activity of something making you money right if it's not proactively indicating signs of growth and you just have an open position sitting there and it's a day trade any open position is a position that's open to risk and i want to remind you of that right again this year is not to be perfect your entries will never be perfect your exits will never be perfect but as long as you hold yourself accountable that when there is a change of direction right we broke below the moving average confirmation at the five minute ema at that point, you know, if you got in at a decent price point and you can walk away either break even and or a little bit in the green, that would make perfect sense. Not only just that, but if you, you know, actually wanted to play both sides, the great thing about this is 
I, I made the announcement to my learn plan profit group of like, hey, I'm beginning to add more to my SQQQ position and SQQQ goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. So you can see the idea of being greedy makes no sense, right? Because you can make money on either side of the market as long as direction is in your favor. And once you see that direction is no longer favorable for the bulls, then again, you can close that position out and allow a new opportunity to present itself if you have that confirmation. Now, of course, you don't want to continue to always go back and forth uh, and open as many trades as possible because again any open position is a position that's open to risk but when you have that confirmation especially on that five minute time frame the lack of progression and now direction is beginning to change i mean it just makes perfect sense on why someone would reduce or close their position on tqs and then begin to prepare to short the market as the market begins to sell off and i'm very grateful that we did um, and that was all caught within our learn plan profit live session as well as our learn plan profit discord group so one of the things that I want to remind you is we are giving away a free mystery box with every order. So a lot of you guys have been following us for some while. Some of you guys have been waiting for a big sell for Learn Plan Profit 2.0. Right now, not only are we running our biggest sell ever, but when you purchase LPP 2.0 to be able to watch me trade live every day, not only do you get that, not only do you get that at a huge discount of $150 off, which is our biggest sell, but on top of that, once you purchase it on the checkout page, the thank you page, we actually provide you a link to be able to claim your free mystery box. So once you claim your free mystery box, you just select your size for your free shirt, and then you add it to your cart. What's included in this mystery box? It comes with a t-shirt, it comes with a trading flag, a trading journal, which is something that you can use to be able to track your trades. And on top of that, it comes with a trading mouse pad all included for free and again that is for everyone that chooses to join learn plan profit 2.0 within the next week that is a current sale that we have going on right now and again if you want to partake in that that is going to be the second link in the description once you check out this is going to be the thank you page just make sure you click the link select your size redeem your gift and we'll make sure that we ship it and deliver it straight to your you know, doorstep or wherever it is that you ask us to ship your uh, mystery box. So just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that there is not only a huge sale going on for LPP 2.0, but on top of that, to kick off the new year, we're running that mystery box give um, giveaway kind of um, for any new member that signed up for Learn Plan Profit 2.0. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord. That's that first link in the description or send me a direct message via Instagram. And that's that third link down below. If you're ready to join our Learn Plan Profit team and redeem your free mystery box, that's going to be the second link in the description description. Um, other than that, I really do appreciate you guys' time. We do have a series of economic reports that are going to be released tomorrow. None that are super, super important. The big day is going to be Thursday. And again, that is going to be that CPI data report, also known as the inflation report. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope and wish you guys an amazing rest of your day. And if you guys haven't noticed already, we are kicking off our new giveaway, which is going to be a brand new Apple Watch. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, that's going to be the fourth link in the description down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.